I don't know why this color. Guys, I try. I try with wardrobe, but um, the color on this shirt has never once liked me since the day I bought it. But anyway. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity, and if you don't know, I'm the face, the voice, and the hands behind all the content here under Infinity Crafting Co. and the blog site infinitycraftingcompany.com. Today I am here with Channel Chat 107. I need a round of applause because I actually remembered the number. <laughs> Today's Channel Chat will be feeding off of um, what we were talking about Monday, so if you haven't watched that go back after this video and watch and see all the things that I had to show off. Um, today, today is Thursday, and so I have officially hit that release button on my new ceramic line that I am introducing to the brand. I am so excited about that, and I am very interested in finding new homes for them. So go over, check it out. If you like them, consider buying one, or maybe even just share the um, page to the one that you like somebody else might like it you might get a you know late Christmas present who knows so those are available out there I've also released the paid version of the um, Christmas sweater that I just did the design along for so what I did was I combined all three parts and edited out all my little pauses and things like that um, combined them so it's just straight tutorial all the way through and it's the ad free experience the free version will be on the blog like on the regular blog on Friday on Friday I had some minor things to tweak before I could put that out there um, so either version feel free to check that out I would love it so much if you'd also share that blog post support the content that way there's that and and today's channel chat is not going to be long <laughs> by any means um, but but a few months ago, right, apparently I have a lot of knitters in my community, which, which is great. Well, hi. <laughs> um, thanks for, you know, putting up with my, you know, what some people would say um, is the non-knitting version of knitting. But nonetheless, welcome. Thank you for being in my community. Um, a few months ago, I got a sudden onslaught of people asking me how to knit the heels on the Centro socks that I make. And for those of you who have not been around that long, or, you know, haven't been around that long, I am a crocheter first, um, and when it came to things with the Centro knitting machine, I was doing tutorials, why did I crack my knuckle? Um, I was doing tutorials <laughs> where they were kind of catering to the crochet crowd in my audience because I think that's most of us <laughs> here. Um, now in my own private work I would kind of play with the idea of attaching knitted embellishments and over time it's been kind of fun figuring out gauge and such like with the socks I resorted to using my tiny wherever he is red lace circulars I don't know, I just had it in my hands, guys. But anyway, I was already using those for the stuff that I take off the machine because it offers a tighter stitch than what's on the machine. So, like, especially, like, with high-traffic garments, over time, those stitches would stretch out. Now, I think in the future, because those are, like, a 2.75 millimeter, I would probably bump it up to a 4. It just depends on the project. Um, but I digress, as I always do. A few months ago, I was asked about the heels. And so... Me being me, you know, I set out to do the thing because I myself had been also wondering how to do that. And, you know, to state the obvious, I'm not a sock knitter. So what I did was I followed my original instructions for making socks on the Centro. And so after I cast off and I was able to loop my little red lace through there, this is what I ended up with, okay, which wasn't bad for a first try, but this is not my best foot for it. So I did not record this. Now, I don't, I feel like there's nothing necessarily wrong with it because it's functional. Um, I can fit this sock and wear it around and whatnot, and it feels great. The knitted fabric does feel and look nicer. Um, but there are, like, clear things that I don't like about this heel. Just, first of all, it's so stubby and tiny. Um, and what I just, I don't know, I felt like it could have been done better, okay? So, I, setting this aside, it's also part of another experiment that I've been working on or been trying to play at since last year, so bear with me. 
Um, this time, I tried something a little different. Or a lot different. Um, on the knitting machine. And I got this heel. Which I like a lot better. And I actually took a stab at doing the Kitchener stitch. Which I, I can understand why people complain about it. But it wasn't too bad to go about doing that. And so I was able to get this pretty decent looking heel in my own way. Um, with the videos I've been watching, right? People... I think people like usually make like a 60 stitch cast on or 64 stitch cast on for socks. And so when they go to do the heel, they're like, okay, the heel, the amount of stitches you need for the whole heel should be about half the number of stitches that you cast on for the entire sock. Well, I make these socks on the 22 Centro knitting machine, so 11 stitches isn't enough. <laughs> um, and one thing that I did not take into account when I did this was the side stitches because I picked up stitches here where they didn't actually exist and um, incorporated that into my stitch count so I ended up with like 42 either I think it was somewhere between 42 and 44 stitches for this heel and I just I did some plain knitting for a few rows because I'm like oh well doing all that um, casting off all those extra stitches that I did, because I think I cast off like 11, <laughs> um, that ate up some of my spacing for my sock, and then, um, so I wanted to account for some of that, and also just extend that, that heel portion, I don't think I would need a whole heck of a lot, um, I was also accounting for how I would lose some of the, uh, like an inch or so off of the toe, because I, I seamed it together. <laughs> So, I don't know. This came out pretty good. I'm going to spend some time and make the other sock and try them on and see how I like them. And then uh, I will come back and show you guys my process. But the moral of the story is, overall, okay guys, I really liked the look and the feel of knitting this heel. I do. Um, I think it's just a practice makes perfect kind of thing. So, like I said, I'll be working on it over the next few weeks and whatnot, because I, I do intend to take a tiny break um, to enjoy the new year and uh, prep a little bit for school and things like that. So bear with me. I'm coming back, and I hopefully will be coming back strong on that end. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about. My socks and my new product release. If you haven't seen those items yet, head over to Channel Chat 106, and I'll leave that probably linked at the end of this video and you can check that out and see what I have to offer and until next time guys happy making all right here is a weird awkward shot of this sock um, <laughs> so as you guys can see it fits me very well and this is what the heel looks like on the foot I would have to say that next time I'll probably not weave in my ends as I go, as I typically like to do because there are like some spots where I feel like I could have used that extra tail to sew in like at the corners of where the sock is. But overall, get a side view, overall I like how that looks around the foot and the heel. I think that's nice. So yeah, there's a little sneak peek. Thanks for watching.